Hi, it's Mr. Barr, and this is the practice test for statistics. Let's take a look at it. So I have this scatter plot with a best fit line through it, and the question is, like, what's going on? The correlation, and it says that it looks like as study time goes up, grades go up. The more you study, the better your grades. So as study time goes up, quiz grades go up. Here's a scatter plot with a best fit line on it. The question is, where's the y-intercept and what is the slope? Well, the y-intercept's right here. If this is 20 and this is 40, then this would be 30. There's my y-intercept. And the slope, I drew in, I found two good points. Drew in the slope triangle. It's got a rise of 10, 20, 30, and a run of 10, 20, 30, 40. So it's 30 over 40, which is 3 fourths. So the y-intercept's at 30, and the slope is 3 fourths. Y-intercept's at 30, slope is 3 fourths. Here's a two-way frequency table. So I have these numbers. I know that they have to add up going across and add up going down. So I probably started right here. I did 43 minus 35, which gave me the 8. 8 plus 35 is 43. I did 61 minus 35, which gave me a 26. 26 plus 35 is 61. Once I have those numbers in, I can then find this number, which is 32. 32 plus 8 is 40. So they have to add down and add across. Next one, asking which set of data is linear and nonlinear. Well, this one's linear, and the second one is nonlinear. So A is linear, B is nonlinear. How did I do that? Well, I graphed it. So here's the graph of A. I actually went up by twos here and up by twos. And you can see it makes a line like this. It's not perfect, but it's, it's got a trend that would be going like this. And if you look at this, this isn't doing much of anything. That is not linear at all. Here's a frequency table, and we're going to ask some questions on it. Which ones are true? You are most likely to see a pelican, a pelican in winter. We'll see pelicans, winter. Yep, lots of pelicans in winter. All right, that answers my first question right there, pelicans in winter. You are least likely to see an owl in spring. Owl in spring. Nope, it looks like summer is actually the least likely time to see an owl. There are 4,143 owls at the Salton Sea. Owls, 4,000, yep, right there. That's right. There are a total of 8,891 birds. Yep, right there, that's true also. So this is the one that's false, B. You're least likely to see an owl in spring. No, you're least likely to see an owl in summer. All right, I've got this scatter plot with the best fit line. I want to know the slope of it. Well, I found two good points. I found my rise, which is 5, 10, 15. My run is 1, 2, 3. I really had to look at the scale out there. So it's 15 over 3. It's 5, but it's a negative, so it's a negative 5. Or something else close. I would also accept something like negative 4.9, negative 5.1. It's a scatter plot. You're going to get close. Here's our next one. Uh, it's got first off, what's going on with it? Well, as advertising goes up, sales go up. And then what's really happening at 200 out here? Well, it's not on my graph. So what I'm going to do is build the equation and then use the equation. So I started by finding my slope, which is 200 over 80. So my slope is 2.5. I found my y-intercept, which I'm estimating is about 750. So my equation is y equals 2.5, the slope, x plus 750, the y-intercept. Now that I have the equation, I can use the equation and plug 200 into it. So I'm going to take that 200 and plug it in down here. So 2.5 times 200 plus 750. So this is 500 plus 750, which is 1250. So if they spend about $200, they should expect to make $1,250 or something around there, I would probably accept anything between 1200 and 1300 This one I in initially did incorrectly. It's saying, hey, which of the statements are false? So there's a relationship between the wind speed and the amount of money that a place is making on kite sales, and the equation is right here. So 
If I if the wind speed is 10 miles per hour, will I make that much? Yes, I will. If I plug in 10, out comes $292.50. When there is no wind, the store will make $90. That is true. Notice if I plug in a zero, out comes a 90. So that's true. If the store wants to make $454.50, the wind speed will have to be 20. That's actually false. If the wind speed is 20, they actually make $495. That's the false one. Even if there is no wind, the store will still make money. Yes, that is true. How much will they make? Well, they'll make $90. This so one, we're going to fill out this frequency table. So 269 kids like pizza, 35 don't like pizza. 240 like tacos, 64 don't like tacos. The bonus thing is that 25 kids don't like tacos and don't like pizza. I don't know who those kids are. And then I fill it, the rest of it in by adding down and adding across. Okay, and that's my video. Thanks for watching.